Hi, DC Dennison here at MakerCon, and I'm with Ted Hall of ShopBot Tools, Inc. And uh, ShopBot has uh, some really great products. HandyBot was launched at a, at a uh, Maker event a year ago, and of course ShopBot is a standard in Maker spaces all over the world. But today, Ted, you've got something kind of special that's getting a lot of attention uh, here for the conference. Well, we've brought the HandyBot back again this year because uh, when we introduced it, the idea was to create a whole new format for doing subtractive digital fab, for doing CNC. And uh, we've spent a year working with the community base of HandyBotters using the tool and uh, have developed new ways to use it. And one of the most interesting things is what we're showing today, which is using the HandyBot in conjunction with a fourth rotary axis to turn things and uh, even more interestingly, as part of a five-axis tool for machining objects totally in the round. Mm -hmm. They're both accessories for the HandyBot, but they really extend the sort of versatility and new format that we've hoped to introduce with the tool. The thing that struck me when I saw it was it looked like gee, this can do a lot of the things that 3D, printing can, 3D printers can do, but it's with subtractive technology and it's kind of bringing it into a CNC world. Sure, there's a lot of, lot of similarity between additive and subtractive digital fab. Additive we think of as 3D uh, printing, subtractive as a, a CNC tool. And the interesting thing about both the rotary tool and the um, five axis tool is it gives the cutter um, a lot more access to the material that's being machined so that it can create the kind of complexity that approaches what you see with 3D printing. Yeah, very cool. Well, uh, let everybody know where they can see this, either online or elsewhere. The easiest place to see it is, uh, is at our HandyBot headquarters, which is handybot.com, H-A-N-D-I-B-O-T.com. All right, great. Well, thanks, Ted. Thank you. Good talking to you.